so poor. Amazing. So <laughs> that doesn't matter. Why? Why? I'm. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's got a book for every situation. Hi, my people I love. Welcome back to MG's library. My name is Mary Grace, and this is my library. Hi, my pretty people. How are you all? It's the end of the year. I know I went on a huge rant at the last video about how it's the end of the year from hell, but I'll say it again, it's the end of the year from hell. Praise Jesus. Today, guys, I thought we would just sit down and do a little haul. I have not done a haul in a while. It's because I was kind of on a book buying ban for myself because I have a book buying problem. Um, go watch all my vlogs ever. That does not mean other people couldn't buy books for me. <laughs> so this is kind of like a Christmas December book haul. These are pretty much all of the books that I acquired in the month of December. I'll explain like where they're all from, why I got them, whatever, clearly when I show you the books. But I love hauls. I love watching hauls. They're literally my favorite videos ever. I know I say that about everything. But hauls specifically, like when I first started watching BookTube, that was what I loved to watch. So here we are. We're gonna do a little haul for you guys. Let me grab my beverageino. It's over here. Grab your beverageino, y'all. Let's get right into it. <laughs> okay, this is our little stack here, y'all. So the first book, I actually talked about this in my favorite books of the year because it was my one of my favorite books of the year. I bought this for the DCG readathon and I did not expect to fall in love with it the way I did. It is Check, Please. One of my favorites of the year. It was in my top 10 of the year. Uh, I absolutely love this. Look at it. Let me just like find a good like page when I mean, they're all good pages. Like look at the illustration. Look at her. It's so freaking pretty. This book is so good. Um, I don't know what else to say. Freaking buy it. Oh my God, I just saw on the back of this, there's like a guide. It says, I love graphic novels. Keep reading these amazing books. And then it has like, you pick which one you want and it gives you a graphic novel to read. Oh my God, I'm gonna do that in a minute. Because I'm always like, what should I read next? What should I read next? Check, please, y'all. The next book I got, guys, is this very cute Star Wars book. It is the book one of the Cor Corellian trilogy. Corellian? Corellian? A trilogy in the Star Wars books. Um, Reagan and I actually got the same book. She bought it for her boyfriend when we were in Dallas at the Half Price Books. Literally don't like movies except for Star Wars. I don't like movies. I don't, they never like keep my attention. I just don't like them. But something about Star Wars makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. I know this isn't like the first book in the in the Star Wars world, but um, it's one in a trilogy. So I thought I'd start with it. Um, and it's so pretty. Like it's just so pretty. Look at all of them. This was like $2.99 at Half Price Books. Insane. Okay guys, this next one was sent to me by Morgan from Morgan's Chaotic World. If you're not subscribed, I don't know what the frick you're doing because she is everything to me. I don't know literally how she's not genuinely famous. Like, I'm not saying that just to be like, oh my God, I don't know how she's not famous. This girl, one, is so brilliant. She's so intelligent and she's so funny and she has a heart of freaking gold. I love this one. I have everything in my body and go subscribe to her. But she sent me Verity <laughs> by calling over. When I opened the package, I couldn't believe that I was actually touching this book. Like, do y'all see how pretty? All I know about this book is it's Colleen Hoover and we stand. It's a psychological thriller romance. I, maybe it's paranormal too. Why, what more could we want, people? What more could we want? That's literally all I know about this book. And I want to go into it kind of blind. And I'm just so excited to start it in the new year. Look at this next to my ugly love now i have two colleen hoovers who am i who am i this was the find of the century i'm not even gonna cap I'm not even gonna cap bro i found this at a half price books i found this at the half price books in dallas the biggest one in the united states um the romance section was pretty pathetic mare was not joking when she said it was small and it was small but I found The Air He Breathes by Brittany C. Cherry. Excuse me? Excuse me, why? This is the first book in the Element series by her. I believe, the, all I know about this one is it's about these two people. They're both widows. Can men be widows? <laughs> yeah, right? No. Yeah. 
I don't know. Both of their spouses have passed and they like bond over it. Also, look at him. The earring. He looks like he has trauma. Sign me up. I'm so excited to start this. I literally can't believe I found this. I found this. It was like $7.99 or something. These books are like $16.99 on Amazon. $7. I mean, $8. I'm like so like... Alrighty, this next book is hilarious. Reagan bought me this for Christmas and it's probably one of my favorite books that I got for Christmas. It is Harris Styles, the biography off stage. This is very clearly just like not an official book that Harry had any part in, but do I care? No. She found this at Ollie's, y'all. <laughs> also, how precious is she? She knows, she knows that Harry and books, are you joking? This is all I need, a life. This picture. Oh my, that's one of my favorite pictures of him ever. Look at him. Look at these, y'all. I mean, it's not a bad. I want to get like a little stand so I can put this in my bookshelf and have it like that. Reagan, I love you so much. I just, you know, you know, you know how I feel, baby. This next book I actually did buy, but it's because I joined a membership. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. I had tried Book of the Month and I didn't like it. I don't really like any of the books they put out, like especially in the romance section. I'm always like, I was talking to Reagan and Naima about how it was frustrating. Like there was no indie romance monthly subscription for books and how I, we just want books. Like we don't want like the whole box and everything because like it's so expensive and like we don't need all the knickknacks, you know what I mean? Like we just want the book. And Reagan found one. I cannot remember the name. I'm horrible, but sh I will put everything up right here for y'all and I'll link it below. But Reagan found one, y'all. And you can like pick the tropes you want and you get to decide like which ones you want. And then they send you randomly a an indie romance author, one book a month, and it's $12. You can't even buy an indie romance book on Amazon for less than 15 bucks. That's crazy. And when my first package came, it did not disappoint. It did not disappoint. Look at her, Washed in Blood by Ashley Lane. Heaven's Guardians book one. Look at that. I have to just read you the back because... Blinded by anger, the man who had sworn to protect me shot me in a fit of rage when I was only 16 years old. He thought he killed me, but my job wasn't finished yet. My days are spent as president of the Heaven's Guardians MC. Nights are spent searching for the scum of the earth. Rapists, murderers, pedophiles, they all answer to me. I thought I'd seen it all. Thought my heart couldn't be any darker. Thought I knew exactly how far I was willing to go. Then a battered and broken woman was found behind our clubhouse, and I realized I'd never had a clue about the monster that lurks within. They call me priest, but I'd sell my soul to the devil before I let anyone take her away from me. How did they get it so right? Like the first book. Also, I've never read an MC romance. I know. But I feel like this is a good one to start. Also, I'm like sitting on my bed. I was like on, on a reading sprint, I think. And I open my book and I'm like, <laughs> my first book that I get from them, it's perfect and it's freaking signed. I'd say go sign up. That's all I say. This next book, Naima bought me for Christmas. And I literally cried. Since like June, when I first started buying books, like during quarantine, I've wanted this book. It's been on my Amazon wish list, but it was like too expensive for me to justify buying it. And she freaking bought it for me. It's A Touch of Darkness by Scarlett St. Clair. Look at this book, y'all. It's so perfect. It's so beautiful. Naima, I love you. I literally like screeched when I opened it. It's just so perfect. I know that this is a retelling of Hades and Persephone and it's a romance book. It's a retelling of their love and what could be better? Like literally what could be better? What, what sort of bad boy would you want more than Hades? Thank you, Naima. I'm literally indebted to you, my love. I just found my note from Mayor for Christmas. <laughs> I miss you guys. Oh my God. This next book, Mayor bought me for Christmas and I've read it a million times, but I do not own a copy of it. And when I tell you that I jumped through the roof when I opened this because it is the most beautiful edition of this book. It is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Look at this, y'all. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? I don't like movies, I said this earlier, but Little Women, the, the new version, the, the new version of Little Women, it does this book such justice. 
I don't say that often and it, oh my God, it's so good. I gotta put her little note back in it. It's literally so beautiful. I think Mayor bought me this, Reagan may have. Oh my God, I'm the worst friend ever. I'm like, right, right, read, bought me this. Um, it is American Royals by Catherine McGee. I've been wanting to read this forever, but I really, really, really wanted to read it physically. And I know I'm gonna like it because everyone and their mother loves this book, especially Mare. And Morgan just read it recently and absolutely loved it. All I know about this book is that it is if the United States didn't hadn't turned into a democracy and was still a monarchy and that the Washingtons are still on the throne, like descendants of George Washington are still on the throne. And so we have American Royals. Second to last y'all, another graphic novel because I'm blessed beyond belief. I literally don't even know what to say. Reagan bought me this one, I'm pretty sure. Um, also just found her note. Look at her calligraphy. Are you joking? She's talented. I've never read anything by her and I'm so freaking excited to start. Look at how pretty it is. Oh my god. I honestly don't even know what this is about. Two boys that fall in love. Uh, look at them. This is what I know. Boy meets boy, boys become friends. Boys fall in love. Wait, now I'm questioning whether Mare bought it for me or Reagan bought it for me. I think Reagan did. I'm just so excited to read this. Y'all know I'm a graphic novel fiend these days, so I'm just so excited. And my last book in this haul, y'all, is my favorite. I'm not gonna lie, it is my favorite of the haul. Are y'all seeing this? Are you seeing it? Just wait, just, just wait. Oh, she has gold edges. Oh. I don't even know what to say about this. I know, I know that this is my seventh copy of Wuthering Heights. I know, don't look at me. Don't look at me. This is the most beautiful book I've ever owned and will ever own. This is one of my favorite books of all time. If nobody knew that, welcome to MG's library. We love Withering Heights here. I'm going to reorganize my shelves. I actually think I'm going to do that today. And this little baby will be facing outward because how could she not? Okay, y'all, that was my little haul for you. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love hauls. I love doing hauls. I love watching hauls. I love books. <laughs> This was never to do anything but to show my gratitude and I genuinely feel so humbled when people even like think about me, let alone do things like send me a book. Don't know why, <laughs> but I'm eternally grateful for you and I love you so much. I hope you guys have a good new year and you guys stay safe. Please, please, please stay safe. Take care of each other. Be gentle with yourself in this new year. Shit is still going on and you are completely valid to take your time and walk slowly into this new year. Again, I love you guys so, so much. Let me know if you need anything. I'm always here, you know that. I'll see you guys next week. I love you. Mwah! Picking my nails at every stoplight on the way back. You ask me about myself, boy.